So a lot of times when we're purchasing a fragrance, we just want a fragrance that can be worn in any season, any occasion, a versatile fragrance that we would consider a Swiss Army knife. Well, in today's episode, I'm gonna be talking about these signature scent worthy fragrances that are super duper versatile. I'm eager to get on with this list, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's video and I talk to you about these 10 super versatile Swiss Army knife, any season, any occasion types of fragrances, these are great signature scent worthy fragrances. You can wear them whether you're going to work, on a date, night out, going to a bar, a club, whatever your proclivities are. I do wanna start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload these daily videos to YouTube and of course give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode it would really mean a lot to me so these are fragrances that can be worn anywhere anytime of course if you're wearing them indoors I think 95% of the time we're indoors right if you're in a climate controlled environment you can really wear whatever you want but these are fragrances that are very smooth easygoing versatile the first one on my list is by Parfum de Marly and this is Percival. If you ask yourself which fragrance by Parfum de Marly is the most versatile offering that they have, it's not Herod, it's not Carlisle, it's not a caster, it's not Pegasus or Pegasus Exclusive. Yes, the brand does have a lot of versatile fragrances. The only possible contender is Galloway because it's really fresh, very easy going, compliment getter. But this is the biggest compliment getter. The performance is great enough that you can wear it in the colder weather. I get about nine or 10 hours from it, but it has the lavender, the citrus, the ice flower, perfect for the hotter weather as well. Great for any time of the year. Very clean, very elegant, very professional smelling. And the blue bottle theme can continues with the scent of peace for him by bond number nine it's a little fresh citrusy fruity woodsy it has a smoothness about it people have compared it to creed's aventus i do get that but it's a bit more put together in terms of the notes aren't coming across as bright or vibrant you know you get that really juicy pineapple in creed aventus this one has a certain smoothness about it right so it's not as gregarious i would say but it's still really polite it's a wonderful fragrance and it's one that i personally love and especially now in the hotter weather i wear it with oding new york and coney island and there are a few from the brand even http i do enjoy them very much this one is very easy to wear very versatile very elegant very pleasant of course we also have another um, fragrance that I think is great for the hotter weather, but this one in terms of the DNA, it's a Swiss Army knife, signature scent worthy. This one is actually Gucci Guilty. Now this is actually becoming, and I think the reason for this is because of the frequency with which I wear it. This is actually becoming one of my most complimented designer fragrances. This is a Gucci Guilty Love Edition. And I don't remember when I got this. It might have been a year or two ago, but it smells exactly the same as the original Gucci Guilty. You don't have to go out of your way to get this particular version, but whether you get the Love Edition or you get the original Gucci Guilty, this stuff is awesome. I believe the perfumer is Jacques Houclier, if I'm not mistaken, same person who did Angel for Men by Thierry Mugler. It's a really well done fragrance. The next fragrance I wanna talk about is actually Dior Homme um, O oh, for men. So any of the more recent Dior um, fragrances and their associated flankers are signature scent worthy. You can wear them anytime you want. The only restriction I will impose on this one is I think it does a little bit better in the hotter weather. However, you know, the original Dior Homme, um, the one that was actually composed by Olivier Poles, that's the one that had the iris in it. Once they took the iris out, it's not as original and I personally don't like it as much, but I will say the versatility has been amplified tenfold, right? Whether you go with Dior Homme Sport, the original Dior Homme, if you go with Dior Homme Cologne, which has a bit more citrus, a bit sporty, um, all of them are incredibly versatile, super high compliment factor as well. Again, I do find them to be a little bit boring, but it doesn't change the fact that they are compliment getters, signature scent worthy, super versatile, 
and um, wonderful for the hotter weather. So is this next one, Versace Por Homme, composed by Alberto Morias, the same person who did Aqua di Gio by Giorgio Armani. This fragrance just smells fresh, clean, it smells like dryer sheets, it's truly wonderful. The next fragrance has really good longevity on my skin, so I think it's great, especially in a climate controlled environment, you can wear this in the colder weather. But now that we are in the month of April, this one does so remarkably well. Vodka on the Rocks by Killian Paris. Again, very smooth. It has that vodka accord, a little bit of coriander, maybe perhaps even some juniper. Smooth, a little spicy, a little boozy, but in an unconventional way. It's a beautiful fragrance. I know people have compared it to Azaro's Chrome, and I totally understand those comparisons, but this one, the scent profile, the longevity, I love everything about it. It's actually my second bottle of it. I also have a travel atomizer of it, which is a, a much smaller size, but I do wear them both. So wonderful fragrance, Swiss Army knife, super versatile. I also, of course, wanna talk about the king of versatility, Blue de Chanel. You guys know about this one. You have that wonderful grapefruit in the opening, the incense, the resins. It is super professional, very elegant. You can wear this one on a date. You're just gonna come, come across smelling very well groomed, very elegant, very professional, sophisticated. You can wear this one to the office. Again, smell like a hard worker, right? Somebody who's there to get the job done. It does have that professional aura about it that I really admire. And now for this next one, it was a bit tricky because I wouldn't go with the Eau de Toilette. The Eau de Toilette is perhaps a little bit too casual. And at this point, even perhaps a little too played out, even though I personally love the Eau de Toilette. Dior Sauvage. So here's the thing, if you go with the Eau de Toilette, it's gonna smell a bit too casual. If you go with the Elixir, it's gonna be very spicy. So for some people, they might find that the versatility in terms of the age range that it would um, cater to or appeal to would be compromised a little bit. So I do feel like Dior uh, Sauvage Elixir probably works better for an older audience, but here we actually have the Parfum version, not the Eau de Parfum, but the parfum. So the parfum is that happy middle ground where basically you do get the warmth of the resins and the density and it's, you know, it's good enough that you can wear it in the colder weather, but you can also wear it in the hotter weather very comfortably because it does have that Dior Sauvage type of a freshness about it. In the number two spot, you guys knew I was gonna talk about this one. Creed Aventus. This is the most versatile niche fragrance on the market. I already kind of alluded to it when I mentioned the centerpiece for him. Compliment getting, most complimented niche fragrance in my collection. Very easy to wear any season, any occasion, day, club, night out, uh, bar, speakeasy, <laughs> wherever you're going, this one is going to work magic. The fragrance in the number one spot should also come as a, a no-brainer or should be of no surprise because it's actually Mont Blanc Explorer. This one, Explorer, is kind of the designer version of Creed Aventus. Pineapple, apple, blackcurrant, cedarwood, some florals, vanilla, very well done. The fruity sheeper genre at its pinnacle is Creed Aventus, which came out in 2010, believe it or not, it's 13 years old now. Well, this came out a few years ago, a collaborative effort, surprisingly, among four perfumers, if I'm remembering correctly. But this fragrance is wonderful. The designer version and the most accurate mainstream designer interpretation of Creed Aventus. Of course, we also had America by Perry Ellis, which I feel has a bit more of that sweet myrrh in it. So it's a bit darker, a bit more resinous. That gets compared to Aventus as well. But look, here we have 10 wonderful fragrances, Swiss Army knives. These are versatile, any season, any occasion. Although I will admit that a couple on this list do cater a little bit better towards the hotter weather, but regardless of that, these are wonderfully versatile fragrances. If you have experience with any of them, which I'm sure you do, drop your comments down below. I always love to start an interaction with my subscribers. And if you enjoyed this video, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up. Love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.